What's up, what's up, what's up? We back again. It's your boy, right? 2012. That's your boy, Don Roomba. You already know what this is, man. This is Kickoff FC, the show. Show by fans, for fans, and we're here to talk about, you already know it, Manchester United oh, all day, yeah. every day. Sure, we want to talk about other things sports related, but what really matters? Manchester United. The That's Red all Devils. that matters. You know what I'm saying? That's all that matters. And we're going to talk about it. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about everything, man. Um, we were on last week, but we were going to talk about <laughs> we're going to talk about that loss to Aston Villa, dog. Yep, yep. The pain, the pains, the pains that we go through, Bruh. the suffering Bruh. that we have to undertake. Bruh, listen, man. We haven't lost to Aston in the mm-hmm. history of Man United. Don't quote me on this, but I think the record is like thirty something wins to like five losses right. in the history. And we just had like our sixth loss to Aston Villa. Really? And their best player is on the sidelines. Sideline. Their most impactful player, to say, which is Leon Bailey. And I'm yeah. not even trying to be biased, but <laughs> that guy cash on their team. I mean, they got a okay squad. They did mm-hmm. good after Grealish left, but I don't give a shit. There's no way a man you're supposed to be losing to no chance. Aston Villa at home. Did you hear mm-hmm. what that record is? It's like we're like thirty something men. Five losses to them in the history of Man U. And you losing at home to Aston Villa? Man, yeah. they should be shaking in their knees. Struggling at that. Man. Struggling. Ali over here making me look stupid, man, with my, like, 3-1 prediction and we losing yeah. 1-0 Heartbreak. at home. Heartbreak. Man, I was so pissed I stopped watching. I'm like, nah, I don't even want to see this game no more, man. I'm so mad. Mm-hmm. I'm so mad. I don't know how you felt, bro, but I was pissed off watching that game, man. I mean, from the from the lineup came out, I had doubts. Because you have Pogba out left, McTominay and Fred in the middle. That's three central defensive midfielders. Pogba is not going to stay out left and play the wing and keep the wing back honest on the opposition team. You know what I'm saying? So he's going to always be crowding the middle. Fred and McTominay can't get no advancement so the the wing is just open for them to bomb down and Shaw injured or whatever you know what I'm saying of course he's gonna get injured because he's work overworking he's playing for him and Pogba position man Shaw mm-hmm. just can't stay healthy can't catch a break nah cause like he done did his thing he, he do it great and then boom hurt he's hurt every season and once he's in form he's in great form but then it's like you run the risk of him getting hurt. And nobody wants to see Luke yeah. Shaw hurt. He's know? one of those players that when he's running out there, he look like he's running on eggshells. Any second, any moment, something might crack. A bone, a ligament, you just, you don't know. It's like you get nervous, right? Yeah. Because it's like, if you see him running like real hard, and then he gets hurt, I'm like, ah, oh, come on. If he goes in a bad tackle, it's like, is he going to get up? Oh, shit. Oh, are we going to have to get the stretcher for him? Mm. Man, man, but listen, that loss, I don't even know where to start, man. We had two injuries in the game, which I think McTominay really came off. No, not McTominay, uh, Maguire, man. Right. Maguire came off, and Shaw came off, and then the next sub was Lindelof. So right. All his choice were made for him. Um, and we made, we brought in, not, not Lindelof, sorry, um, Cavani. Mm-hmm. Brian Cavani for McTominay. And which made sense because we needed to score. We had right. to put somebody up top to score the game. And That's a fact. We needed to score. I mean, if, if Ali had done anything different, you had Fred and McTominay out there already, so who you can't yeah. sub them in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you need a win. You can't sub him Matic for exactly. a game changer. Hey, and we're going to hey. talk about that. Hey, man. But, hey. This is a genius, I guess. All I'm saying. He's man. a genius. Oh, he knew exactly what he was doing when he did, when he thought of it. Why do it? The man, the man, the man. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I, I don't know, man. Yo, so all his sub sometimes just like mm-hmm. a head scratcher, like facts. I just not get it, Rasta. Like I don't think he gets it either. Mm-mm. I don't think it's he like gets the it. more and more I see certain things, it's like. Mm-hmm. The more and more it's like, come on, Ali. Like, like literally, I'm not an Ali Basha. Like, right. I'm cheering for Ali. I loved him as, as a player. And when he got hired, I'm like, yo, I want you to succeed. 
Right. right. Like, I definitely want him to succeed. Definitely want you to succeed because you, it's a win win. You win, we win, everybody win, I've, everybody's I've, happy. I've had a lot of celebrations. Because of him. Exactly. Yeah, that's it. But I'm like, come mm -hmm. on, Ali. Like, some things you do just don't make sense. And then after that, you come out and you say something like, the team played great. Yeah, I don't and know I'm what like, game he watching. What? I guess he trying to keep the morale up in the in the locker room or something. Yeah. That's got to be it for him to say. Maybe we need to bring We play some. great. We play great. We play great. Listen, we need to bring somebody like Roy Keane up in that place because Roy Keane put a foot up somebody's ass. Yeah, I think Roy Keane will be like hey, giving them the real. I think the real. Roy Keane will bring keggers and freaking cartons in there, yo. Yo, you man. Yeah, Roy Keane Listen, over there, bro. I love me some Roy Keane, boy, because he speaks the truth and he speaks yeah. his mind. He's like, listen, if you miss this penalty, you walking home. Yeah, I know yeah. he old school. I get it. He old definitely needs some old school vibes in there. Locker. You need somebody like, yo, you know? And that's why I was glad that Ronaldo came in. Yeah, Ronaldo yeah, yeah. ain't going to put up with no shit. And it's not going to happen overnight. You no. know what I'm saying? It's yeah, only it's maybe three time. games since he's been here. So, it's I mean, take time. the culture definitely has to upgrade and change to more aggressive and like... Yeah. Yeah. Some... Get after it attitude, you know? Yeah, like, like I need the mentality to be like, we winning. I see it in Bruno because he right. gets pissed when he loses. We already know how Ronaldo is because, you know, he's mad if he if he doesn't score and if we don't win, he's mad. Most but definitely. I need to see that same energy from everybody else on the team. All the way through, mm -hmm. Pumper, all the way down. You know, they all need to feel that like, yo, we, 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 we need to win. Let's find a way to win. If something ain't working, feel free to speak up. Let yeah. a coach know. Like, yo, this ain't working. Didn't you not see Ronaldo on the sidelines when that time went... Ali subbed him, <laughs> and then Ronaldo became the coach. I know, right? Ronaldo was on the sideline directing traffic like, Shit. and I'm like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. we got to get it. But anyway, speaking of Ronaldo, I ain't going to spend too much time on this, man. Who do you think should have took the penalty, man? Bruno missed the penalty. They were flustered. We saw footage of Pogba saying, right. I think Ronaldo need to take the penalty. I didn't see no conversation with Bruno or Ronaldo. Who do you think should have took the penalty? I mean, in that circuit, Bruno has been clutch. He hasn't, he hasn't disappointed much. He's missed one or few, but he hasn't disappointed much. It's, it's kind of hard to say to pick who should have or shouldn't. I mean, in hindsight, now that he missed it, we can say Ronaldo should have taken it. Ronaldo could have missed it. Right, he could have missed too. But Bruno not sticking to the script and doing. The hop skip on the jump. Yeah, every time he doesn't do it, he misses. And this is the most crucial point in the game. You can save some points. Why are you just running up and skying it like you're trying to go for power? You've never kicked a penalty for power. I don't see what what changed. So hindsight, Listen, I would say Ronaldo. The players were in his head. I what players? players? They surrounded you're him the like a captain. bunch of vultures, like, yo, 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 captain, yo. you're, you do this. But then again, you should be prepared for that, because that's exactly. what players do. We're going to oh, try to oh, distract man. you if you're going to kick a penalty. They're going to try to lay you, bounce you a little time on your shoulder, and something like that. But um, I'm not, I can't argue and say it against Bruno kicking the penalty, mm -hmm. right? Nah, because can't. he's been clutch, like right. I said, you know. Nobody's perfect, so we missed some, and I know Bruno was pissed. He even came out and apologized, which I don't think you should do that because I know you want to win, but just say, right. let's move to the next game. We want to win. I It's disappointing. Either way, the team didn't play good overall that day, and as a matter of fact, no. well enough to say we deserve to lose that game, you know? Even though I want three points, we wouldn't have right. celebrated one. No. Like, hey, we draw with Austin Villa at home. And now we've lost. We haven't lost a game at home since forever. And now this just killed. Just yeah. Mm. So I think in those glory moments, I think at least a conversation is merited. Like Bruno talked to Ronaldo. That's the glory moment. Right. What's Ronaldo brought here to do? Rescue Man U. Yeah, Ronaldo. What he's been doing since he now. got here? Rescue Man U. What did he do for us in? Recently, rescue man. Yeah, you take some pressure so off of Bruno. Let's that's some a pressure glory off. moment. Yeah. So in my mind, I, I felt like there should have been a conversation. And then Bruno would have been like, yo, 
bring this home for us. I can bet Ali Slowly. didn't even discuss that in training. I can bet you. Of course he did. That was the first instance where it even came up. The it's first on thing. The field. Everybody spoke yeah. about it, like, yo, who's going to be on free kicks? Who's yeah, going to be yeah, on PK? Yeah. Not, they should be like, yo, not even if you're working out amongst yourself, see how the game is going, check the vibe of the right, game. Right, right. The vibe of the game, and in that moment, I personally felt like mm -hmm. Ronaldo should have taken that penalty based on the mood and the vibe in that game. Not to say Bruno isn't capable. I'm right. not against it. I'm not knocking them for making Bruno kick it, but I'm saying in that moment, at least I have a conversation about it with... But you, you know, know how people's like, egos are. Yeah, but you know fragile, this. You know this. Fragile. You know this coming in. If if Ali is mm. even gonna say, let the players work it out, work it right. out amongst yourself. It's not like it's zero zero and the game is up. That's a moment where it's gonna build some some momentum. Even though it's, uh, we playing for a draw, but I'm saying <laughs> if Ronaldo scores that, the headlines are gonna say Ronaldo saves Man U again. Mm -hmm. Versus, hey, if Bruno scores it, we draw. Man, you drew 1-1 with Aston Villa at home. That's going to be more like the headlines. It's not going to be Bruno save Man U or but something. we don't necessarily go for headlines. And we, yeah, true. We but I don't know. really care about the headlines. But mm. I'm saying in that moment, let's give... Have a conversation about it. And if y'all say Bruno, yeah. then I respect that in that moment. You know what I'm saying? Right. That because you saw been the video. The field, but look, look game, at the you know video. Look at the video, right? Mm. Pogba was like, yo... I don't know if y'all saw the video, but check it out. There's some video out there. Pogba coming back, talking to Bruno, saying something. And when the, all the other Aston Villa players were around him, right. Pogba stepped out of the circle and went to Ronaldo and said something like, nah, I think you should take the penalty because sums up. They're, they're in his <laughs> head. Like, he sensed it. You know what I'm saying? So if you sense it in that moment. Mm -hmm. And again, just like what Don Rumba said, how often you ever see Bruno go for power and upright yeah, just, without doing his hop, skip, and a jump? How often? Was so some was, they got to his head, which is unlike Bruno, but he learned from this and he only really gets stronger and I'm pretty sure they'll work it out moving forward, you know? So mm -hmm. we'll see how that goes. And goes. also, remember, drop a like, drop a comment what you think about the show. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No doubt, man. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to Kickoff FC. Also, you can check us out on Twitter at Kickoff FC and on Instagram at The Kickoff FC Show. Look for us on there. We, we appreciate y'all following us and checking us out. Again, this is just a show by fans, for fans, and we're going to keep on doing this because we just love talking about Man United and everything Ronaldo-related. That's squad. That's the squad. Right. Anyway, man, this is your boy, right? That's boy, Don Rumba. Appreciate y'all watching. Check out some of our other, other videos on here. Mm -hmm. We out, man.